here to the Paul B. Gross Coliseum. We're not too far away from the beginning of the first match of the action. Uh, ben, uh, as we wait for the 103-pound championship match to get rolling, uh, wrestling, of course, uh, has spread itself around the state of Kansas, and we've seen schools in the eastern part of the state certainly uh, improve the skills of wrestling. But this has been a sport that's been dominated for the most part. Maybe dominated a little strong, but primarily by western Kansas schools. And the truth is, 42 state championships, team championships by northwest Kansas league schools is uh, quite astounding. Well, you're talking about a rather ancient tradition, Rich, and you know it has been going on for a long time in northwest Kansas. But recently, the, the sport is catching up in eastern Kansas. We have a lot more kiddie clubs, a lot more freestyle wrestling, a lot more participation. You see a lot tougher competition out of schools from eastern Kansas. You know, once an individual school gets one champion in their program, from then on, the door is open, and it'll never be closed. All right, we're getting ready for the first match of the 1993 2-1-A state title. It'll feature a 103-pound championship match. It'll feature Jonathan Hale from Hoxie, and it will also feature Chris Lampy of uh, St. Francis. Right now, they're introducing the officials here at the 3-2-1A state tournament. A, a, a host of six of those guys that have worked very hard for the past two days, and of course, it all ends up with the championships here. Two referees will work each of the title matches as we get ready and set to go. All right, Jonathan Hale with a record of 17 and three. Chris Lampy 21 and six. And Lampy is a freshman. Hale is a senior. And coach, tell us the difference between the senior and the freshman in terms of just the genetics and the strength possible. Well, I tell you, the senior boy is liable to be the strongest wrestler. The young freshman is a challenger any way you look at it. He's a tough challenger, and that's why he's here in the championship round. You don't know how it's gonna work for either one of them. But, you know, uh, if you were betting ahead of time, Rich, you'd probably have to go with a senior. All right. St. Francis uh, Lampy will be wrestling with the gold uniform, the yellowish uniform. Hoxie's Jonathan Hale, the red and white. And immediately, uh, Lampy tried to shoot in. Now, Lampy uh, comes from a history of uh, good wrestling names, certainly. In fact, Steve Lampy, the Colby Junior College coach who wrestled at Colby but grew up in St. Francis, I might add, uh, was a three-time state champion, so the name Lampy synonymous with good wrestling success. But you know, the young freshman, Chris Lampy, didn't waste any time. He's in the yellow uniform. He tried to get in. He's got penetration in on Jonathan Hale's leg, so he's not afraid to get in here and make the moves. No score so far in the match, but uh, Chris Lampy coming in on the leg of Jonathan Hale. He's got good, deep penetration. Can't quite bring the leg in. Now he gets it in a little bit closer. Tries to step around behind the leg. And Jonathan Hale's trying to counter with a whizzer. All right, now Jonathan Hale, of course, as I said, the senior, the regional champion, by the way, in Oakley. Now, Ben, they called a stalemate. Uh, explain the stalemate and explain the reasoning there. Why? Well, the stalemate's a situation where neither wrestler can improve, it, improve his position. And so in order to save time and give quality competition, the referee stops the, the contest. And they start over. Lampy has really wrestled well in this tournament. And according to uh, some of the folks we visited with prior to the state tournament, has wrestled very, very well uh, in, uh, in their preparation. Kirk Baker, of course, the coach at Hoxie. Hoxie looking for their first state title, by the way, in some time since 1972. They won it when they had the championships in Hoxie. Or rather, check it in Colby. But Hoxie's won the state championship three times. Well, basically now, Chris Lampy is penetrating. He's trying to get in deep, and Hale has sprawled out to counter the move. No score so far. No control. Prior to uh, the matches beginning in our uh, pre-wrestling uh, comments, we talked about wrestlers being tight sometimes and wrestling more conservative in championship matches. Would you say that's the case here? That is the case so far, and that's taking place right now. Both wrestlers, the senior and the freshman, are both being conservative. But, you know, uh, as we're talking here, Rich, uh, we've had two whole minutes go by the board already. The first period has expired and no score. St. Francis's Chris Lampy is coached by Larry Gable. Larry last won a state championship for St. Francis. That was in 1984, I believe. Yes, it was, right here in Hayes, the 3 2 and one a title. And so Larry Gable coaching Chris Lampy here, trying to get his young freshman to come away with the title. Jonathan Hale has the arm tied up 
has a wrist lock on the right side. Stepping across. Great mining the leg. Now fishing for a crossbody right. And Chris Lampy trying to set through. Jonathan Hale has the arm tied up. It is a crossbody ride situation. Hale working well with his legs. Now again, always the objective of the top man certainly to try to score points. The bottom man trying to get out of a position. So Hale here is trying to, to maneuver into a position of trying to score some points because there are no points that have been scored here yet. Well, that's true. Now Hale continues to work with the arm. He's reaching in, trying to use a little leverage. And the referee called a stalemate. He said, you have not improved your position. And the clock uh, shows a minute and ten remaining in the second period, Rich, and uh, still no score. Hoxie's coaching staff, Roger Morris and also Kirk Baker, sitting right next to us over here. And uh, they've been yelling instructions to their wrestler, Jonathan Hale. But Hale hasn't been able to get anything offensively going. And, and uh, Lampy has wrestled uh, somewhat conservative, but he's having a struggle on the bottom. Hale uh, does uh, reach in right now for a cross chest breakdown. And Lampy tries to come to his feet. It gives Hale a little bit of a chance. It gives him a little bit of an angle. But Lampy reaches in and grabs Hale by the leg. Hale off to the side trying to turn Lampy over. Now, Lampy did not wrestle in the finals in the regional at Oakley earlier, a, a little over a week ago. Uh, he was wrestling for third and finished third, so an indication that he has done a better job. But Hale is working there and getting closer to getting pinpoints or at least exposure, Ben. Well, he is. He's trying to step across, trying to score the points, but uh, this lamp is able to brace off, prevent the predicament situation, but Hale still has a butcher. It's a kind of a cross-chest uh, tie-up, but now he works in the Turk and tries to turn Lampy. And they get the turn, but just at the end of the period, the points won't count. In fact, they weren't scored. Well, now Hale will go to the bottom position, and how difficult will be the freshman to keep the senior down? I think the pressure really begins to build up for the freshman. Of course, on the other hand, can he gain some confidence knowing he's only, I mean, he's not down in the match, he's tied, in fact. Well, I think he's wrestling uh, rather loosely, and so he's definitely in the contest. We are in a scoreless match here at 103 pounds. And Chris Lampy, his top position in the yellow uniform. It's like he's fishing for a cradle there, it looked like for a moment. Now he uses a double stretcher. That's both legs in around the waist and trying to turn Jonathan Hale. Can't get the job done. He's got a quarter Nelson. Uses leverage up on the head. Jonathan Hale hasn't done much in the match so far. Neither wrestler, and I'm a little bit surprised here, and uh, we talk about being conservative in the championship matches. He's got a cradle, Ben. All right, Chris Lampy locks the cradle up. He'll have a chance to turn Jonathan Hale. He does get him turned. He's up on his shoulder. The count is going, and the young freshman, Chris Lampy, uh, hanging on, has scored two on the near fall. But Jonathan Hale's about to turn in and get a reversal, so that would come out even Steven. They're really locked up right now, and now... Uh, Jonathan Hale does have a reversal. He's got uh, Chris Lampy locked up, and he's got him on his shoulders. But I don't think he's going to score back points because the reversal came after the exposure situation. So now we have a match tied up two to two. Jonathan Hale's out of position. Chris Lampy about to step across and get his own re-reversal. Jonathan Hale hanging on. It's three to two according to the scoreboard. Scoreboard shows three two. Now Jonathan Hale, the wrestler with the superior strength, to get the two count, and it's four to three, the Hoxie wrestler. And you can hear the noise in the background, a big delegation here from Hoxie. We're down to 12 seconds of the third period. Chris Lampy trailing four to three. It's been a really tight match. All the scoring in the third period. Jonathan Hale's hanging on to the lead, and he's hanging on to Chris Lampy, and he is it's the new champion. That was a great match, Ben Noel. Four to three. You know, we didn't see much happen in the first two periods, but we saw that uh, it was ever bit as close, and it ends up four to three. But it was a great match, a great challenge from the young freshman to the senior, Jonathan Hale and Chris Lampy. I'm sure disappointed, but certainly a great match here in the championships at 103. Jonathan Hale of Hoxie is the 1990 three-two and one-a state champion for the Indians of Hoxie. He is.